In this video, we're going to talk about importing, assigning, and viewing prescriptions in your 2020 seed sense. Each prescription needs to be made up of three files, a DBF, SHP, and SHX file. You'll need all three of those for each field that you want a prescription for. I need to copy these files from my computer onto a USB stick to move them to the 2020. I'll select my files and then I can go edit and copy or I could just drag and drop them to my USB stick location. So I'm going to click on my USB stick location, edit and paste. Now I can see all three of those files there. They need to be in the root of the drive or the top level of the drive, not in a folder unless the folder is named send to 2020 that would be okay as well so i need all three of these files for every field that i want a prescription for and i need to make sure that each of the three files are named the same they should not they are case sensitive and they should have no special characters once i've got all of those files on the usb stick i'll move it to the 2020. so now that i'm at my 2020 i'm gonna put my USB stick in. To import the prescriptions, I'm going to go to Setup and Data, Import, Prescription and Boundary. You can see it successfully imported the one field worth of prescription that I had on my USB stick. If I had multiple fields, then that count should match the number of fields that I imported. I'll hit OK. I can remove the USB. Now I need to assign each prescription to the field that it's going to be used in. So I'll go back to the home page, set up, and here I've got the field name box. So I'm going to select that field, and then I'm going to select the name of the field that I'm going to assign this to. So we're going to use the good planting field with this prescription. Now here you can see the prescription box on this page. I need to click on that prescription box and then I need to scroll down and find the name of that prescription. If I hold this button, it'll scroll a page at a time. If I press and release, it'll scroll one at a time. And so I'm looking for that test prescription. So you can see here, test prescription. I've got it highlighted and I press enter. Now I need to select the prescription attribute. So this is important. Uh, because if without selecting the attribute, the 2020 is not going to know what to control to. So I have to select whatever the person who wrote the prescription used for the seeding attribute. Uh, in this case, um, this P321R1 makes sense to me, uh, but it may be whatever the person who wrote that prescription named the seeding attribute. So I'll select that and hit enter. Now you can see I have my prescription and the attribute assigned to the field. So if I imported prescriptions for more than one field, I would need to go ahead and repeat this process for each field that I was going to use a prescription on. So I could press enter here, click on the field name box again, and then select those other fields. An important thing to mention, if you're importing your prescriptions from Climate Field View, you need to assign the attributes for each field. So the prescriptions may automatically be assigned to the fields, but the attributes are not. So an example of that, if I go into my demo field here, you'll see my seeding prescription has already been assigned, but the attribute box is blank. So this prescription is not gonna be able to control with the 2020 until I select the attribute. So I'll click on that box. I see my population attribute here hit enter, and now that attribute is assigned to the field. If you want to view your prescription to give yourself confidence before moving to the field, you can go back to the home page and then click on the map icon, and it should bring up a map of the field here with different colors for the different prescription areas. You can also do the large map option. Some files, due to the way that they're made and being very large files, it may take a significant amount of time for that map to build and show on the screen. You can also view these files in the Climate Field View Cab app. If you have questions, contact your local precision planning dealer or call us here at Product Support. Thank you.